today we're going to be making fruit snacks, homemade fruit snacks. Oh. What do you guys think about that? Good. Are they pretty tasty? Yeah. This is a really simple kids kit that obviously is always a crowd pleaser. We're going to be using just a couple ingredients. What is that? Grape. So we got some grapes. This one might be harder. What is that one? Um, raspberries. Yeah, red raspberries. Red. And then this one, this is what's going to make it turn into fruit snacks. This is gelatin. Salt was a good guess. Here, we can taste test this one. You want to try some? Take a little pinch. And then tell me what you think that is. Yummy. It's yummy. sugar. It's yummy, isn't it? Yeah, it's so, so, <laughs> so there's two different ways that we can do our homemade fruit snacks. One of them uses a stove. And then the other option just happens in the microwave. So this is a really fun, easy kit. You don't have to worry about what temperature things are. Um, we're just going to get mostly yeah. warm and um, smash up some fruit and yeah. add some sugar. And then it's going to make some awesome fruit gummies. First off, let's take these grapes. And we got these. I picked these just yesterday for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to pick off some, some of the nice purple grapes. I and some of them really aren't quite really ready. ready. <laughs> yeah, there's a little grape. Tiny, it has been grown. <laughs> yeah, that one's really tiny and hard. Hey. Let's put the purple yeah, ones in the bowl. Oh, don't put any it. gross ones in. Oh, uh oh, I put one with a stem. Gotta make sure we get all the stems and we just have the nice soft purple yeah. fruit. We want really nice and juicy grapes. Whatever we don't use, we can eat. But fruit snacks is a good way to have them um, and have them for a while. Because, you know, sometimes fruit is only good for a little hey, bit, right? Morning. Oh, that one escaped. Well, we better put it in there. So these were ripe earlier, and what I did was put them in the freezer. And then they're starting the thaw. You can see all that really good juice. Yeah. So what we're looking to make is juice to make our snacks with. If you wanted to skip this step, you could just go right to juice. But... Making homemade juice is pretty fun. All right, I got some big green spatulas. Can you guys smash those up for me? Can yeah. you smash those raspberries? I'm gonna get in and help here. We could get in and really squish them. <laughs> Look how much I squished. Oh yeah, you got a lot of juice. We're getting some here too. Look at the inside of our grapes is green. All right, so we're gonna have to heat it up to get all the juice to come out. Yeah. So there's two ways to do that. We're gonna add our grapes over here, and we're gonna make sure our burner is nice and clear. And we're just gonna start those cooking a little bit. So then the juice that came out. And then we're just gonna let that cook really low heat and just kind of break down, and that's gonna release those juices. But while that's happening, We'll show you how to do it in the microwave. So our red raspberries. Yes. All right, you guys make funny faces. I'm gonna disappear for just a minute and be right back, okay, with some nice warm raspberries. We're just microwaving these in 15 second bursts until they're nice and soft and all the juice is, is come out. All right, you guys done making fa fancy faces? Yeah. I've got, we heated up some raspberries. You see all the juice in there? Mm -hmm. There's a lot. We're going to make our gummies out of that juice. Oh, this is doing pretty good too. There's a lot of juice in there. Yeah. So we're going to take, we have four layers of cheesecloth and that's how we're going to strain things out. If at home you have a fine wire mesh strainer, you can use that as well. And so we're going to pour everything in there. For our gummies, we don't want all of those seeds and things. We actually just want to have just the juice. Okay, get all that good juice out. So we're going to take our four corners so you can see we have all that raspberries in there. Do you want to squeeze it? It's going to get nice and messy. All right, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. There you go. So we're trying to get one half cup of juice out of this. So it's a good idea after you microwave to just let it sit for a minute and get a little cool. And then you can kind of twist. I'll twist and you squeeze. Oh, wow. Here's my half cup measure. Oh, we're not quite there. 
Here, let me get a little bit of water to top that off, okay? So we just want to top it off with a little bit of water. Whoop, perfect. And then we can add between like one teaspoon up to maybe three or four that, teaspoons of sugar. Is that exciting? Just depending on what your fruit and how um, tart it is and what you guys like. <laughs> Do you want to add sugar? Yeah. All right, we need one scoop from both of you. Perfect. Do you want to add, can you, we pass the scoop? Thank you. All right, just sprinkle that in. And that's a teaspoon. We got a big tablespoon here. We have to do this to get all the sugar. So we're gonna sprinkle our one and a half tablespoons of gelatin. And you can see all that gelatin on there. And we're gonna let that sit for five minutes. And you can kind of stir it a little bit. I want to. But you don't have to stir it a lot because you're just gonna let that gelatin soak up the juice. So if we mix it up, then it will soak up the juice. Well, let's set that one off to the side for five minutes. And we're gonna do our grapes. And we let this cool down a little bit. So you see all those smashed up cooked grapes? Uh -huh. They're nice and soft and all that juice is out. We gotta get all our corners together. Ta-da! Yeah! See all that juice coming out? Yeah. Now twist. Do you wanna get in and squeeze some, Clementine? I can really do it. Wow, there's a lot of juice coming out. So we got raspberries and grapes. What other flavors could we make? Do you think we could do apple gummies? Apple gummies. Yeah? yeah. What about rainbow fruit gummies? Rainbow fruit gummies, that'd be pretty cool. That means all the fruits. Oh, that'd be a lot of work. Well, let's check. We'll see if we got our half cup. I can do it. Do we need to add some sugar? Yeah. Yes. All right, one sugar, scoop sugar, each. Sugar. My turn. Yeah. So just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay. All right. So we want to do just a little bit. We got to do one and a half. You want to drizzle it's, that all it's in? It's waiting. <laughs> After five minutes, you can see it's getting really soaked in. It's so soaked in. It's so soaked in. And we're going to stir it just a little bit. It's squishy. But there's still a lot of sugar and gelatin in there, isn't there? Yeah. From here, there's two more ways that we can heat this up. There's sugar in there. Yeah. It's super squishy. If we're doing everything on the stove, we can add it all back into the stove and warm it up. But a lot of times from here, it's really easy to just toss it in the microwave for 15 seconds at a time until it's nice and liquid. And that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, I'll be right back, guys. All right, so we've had it, it's gotten soaked up. Do you see any gelatin in there? No. No. Me either. It's all mixed up. And it's all nice and warm, so if you accidentally let it sit for too long and it starts to thicken up, that's okay. Just throw it back in the microwave and warm it up a little bit and it'll get all nice and liquidy. You can use a mold or you can use a dish. So this is one I made earlier and I just poured them in and I'll show you how to cut that in a little bit. Um, but I think silicone molds are real fun. We're just going to take just a little bit and we're going to pour it right in. You can use droppers for this if you want to be really accurate, but a lot of times I don't mind if a little bit gets out. We went ahead and heated up some of the grapes on the stove, and you can see they did the same thing. Nice and liquid, all the sugar is melted and all the gelatin has been incorporated. And I think sometimes it's fun to just mix and match them too. See how it's going? And it cuts pretty easily, so I'm not even using a knife for this. You can cut them. You can also use, if you have little cookie cutters to make little fun shapes, that's an easy way to do it. Or I've used um, my little mini muffin tins to make tiny ones. It doesn't really matter how thick these are, but you know, a good little kid snack size. And they've got some good wiggle to them. 
So as soon as that's full, we're just going to set it to the side. I usually put mine in the refrigerator. You could probably throw it in the freezer if you wanted to like super speed set it up, but usually it sets up in the fridge within an hour or less. And cookie sheets make really nice trays for moving in and out of the fridge. Do you guys want to try some? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So these are the ones that we cut up. Did we have one? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Did you say it was bouncy in your mouth earlier? Yeah, it, it kind of made me dance. And we get a really fun um, little yeah. shape out of any mold. It, it, it bounces around. It bounces. bounces around. Yeah, <laughs> All right, and then the last fun thing, if you make a little bit of sour sugar, Sour sugar is just citric acid and a little bit of sugar mixed up. I've got a little bit of that sitting over here. We have this pre-mixed in our kits, and that's going to be our little dipping sugar. I want to do one. We get a dip just a little bit. It's pretty good. You guys did so good.